I want to talk about the problem with get home bags and bug out bags and content of this sort of nature as well as do a quick layout of what I carry in my truck with me all the stinking time. So I've noticed as I look across the landscape of uh, videos as it relates to this, a lot of times folks are doing things from their studio, from their office, from the back of their vehicle, which is cool. Uh, but for the most part, all of these kits were made specifically for that video, right? Have you noticed that? If you have, leave a comment down below. And so the danger in this is the people putting together the content aren't really thinking about A, what they carry all the time. And if it's like a get home bag and you're leaving a vehicle or, or some other sort of place, there's not a lot of conversation about other variables that may exist as it relates to what else we could put into our into our kit. So I want to talk a little bit about that first and then we'll we'll do a layout of my kit. So in my truck I mean I, I do carry quite a few things but to be honest with you most of it I'm not going to bring out with me all right or away with me you know I got first aid supplies uh, at the wazoo I have some recovery gear um, but the one thing that I do have that I'm going to take out with me is my roadside flare because it can be used for multifunctional, right? Between uh, signaling as well as starting fires <laughs> quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know, if I'm in a, an urban environment, I also have a, a four-way uh, water lock or water key that I can use to maybe procure some more water in that urban environment. But uh, enough about that. Let's get uh, take a look at this kit and then we'll get this thing going. Come on. All right, so first thing we'll look at is uh, my fresh, uh, fairly fresh, I've only had it for a little bit, and it is a Hill People gear, and this is the Recon bag. So it's it's uh, a little bit larger uh, than some, but you know, it is what it is. I carry a Bofang radio, uh, pretty inexpensive, easy to be had. And it is uh, preloaded with configs for all of my search and rescue operations and my sheriff's department, things of this nature. And on the bottom, I have a fixed blade knife. We'll go into the main compartment first. As you can see this thing has all kinds of room. I've got a plastic Ziploc bag with some baby wipes. I've got a Cliff granola bar, some coffee. A little bit of cordage, a condom, multifunctional, right? Get your mind out of the gutter. Got uh, some chem lights. Again, some cordage. A little hydration pack. Got a signal mirror. Uh, affixed to it, dummy corded to my chest rig, I have a whistle and a light. This particular one has a strobe on it and it has white light and red light as well. Not too bad. Now I have a, a pair of gloves. Another little p short piece of cordage. I do have uh, M6 light. Small heat pack. Some backup batteries. Have a small folding knife. Pen times two got a weather meter small emergency IR beacon the front of the pouch protractor silver compass dummy corded have a ton of flagging tape uh, another pen Crayon uh, lumber marker. And then I have some smart cards. So I have some maps. And then I have my instructions again for, for my radio just in case. I can't remember which one is which. So I have those in there as well. It's currently 33 degrees. And then in the back, just have a small 45. And that's everything uh, in my chest rig. Now my tactical tailor uh, flight light or Fight light removable operator pack. On the side, I have a multi tool. 
outside pouch I got a lot of crap have a backup compass I got my flask notepad and pen pencil my fault you're bad some more chem lights some more uh, baby wipes all my extra packs here another writing utensil or writing pad a uh, small uh, snippet of some MRE stuff. So I got some instant coffee, some John Wayne toilet paper, some matches. Got another backup whistle. Some more chem lights, right? Main compartment. I got my single walled stainless steel bottle, pair of gloves. Light fighter uh, tarp, ridge line to go with the tarp, field stripped MRE, life straw, folding Laplander saw, pair of socks in a Ziploc bag, more baby wipes, emergency blanket, another chem light. Headlamp, headlamp batteries, and then three, also got some uh, camo paint. All right, so quite a, quite a bit of a kit in these two little bags. Uh, in my three pill boxes, that's a first aid kit, that's a fire kit, and that's a repair kit. So I think... Uh, I think for me, with everything that I have here, I should be able to get by in most scenarios for most situations that we may come across. Now, I'm not here to advocate, you know, some sort of a a bug out bag with the, that this would that this could be or serve as. Um, I think it'd be kind of foolhardy. I could certainly get by for 72 to to 96 hours. But hopefully by that point in time, I can get to a place that is secure. So let me know what you think down in the comments below about what we have in this kit. That way we can continue to master our craft and develop our tactical virtue. Man, I appreciate all you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.